The horse chestnut in full bloom, one of the delights of spring. From a distance, the candles appear to be white, but close up, we see that there are yellow, salmon pink, and red flowers, which indicate the passage of time in this candle. The youngest flowers are the yellow. The pollen, bright orange here, is thick on the anthers. On the salmon pink flowers, much of that pollen has already disappeared. By the time we get to the red, we're left just with the anther structure itself and very little pollen. The flowers are not the only indicator of the passage of time on the candle. Looking towards the bottom, we see some spiky structures. Looking at the flowers from the side allows us to see how these structures develop. On some of the flowers, a swelling develops just below the petals. And if we remove that petal, we see that there is a white structure emerging from this swelling. The swelling eventually turns green and spiky, and whilst that white structure elongates and then decays down to being brown as the spikes develop still further, and eventually disappears, leaving us with the spiky conker case that we know from autumn. Inside, there are two ovules which will be fertilised, which will develop into the conkers. What might at first appear to be just white, we see is three colours and developing conkers.